Hey everybody, Nick here, and today I got a review for you of this little guy right here. This is the uh, Freelux Lights Synergy One uh, Pocket Flashlight little guy. Uh, that's right, this is actually a flashlight, not a light or some other weird thing. Um, first off, though, I want to thank my buddy Tony over at Everyday Commentary for sending this guy along. He loaned this my way to uh, check out, and I, I very much appreciate that. So uh, thanks, Tony. It's a weird light. Wouldn't have gotten a chance otherwise. So awesome. Um, next thing, size comparison, real quick. This guy is actually uh, it's reasonably compact. Um, here it is to start with against a um, uh, CR123 battery and an 18650 battery. So you can see here that size-wise, we are not all that far off from any of these things. It's not a big thing. Here it is against the Spydeco Delica, because that's kind of the way I work. And then uh, here, here it is against, uh, actually, it'll be easier just to grab the... Uh, uh, standard AAA, well, actually, it's a standard AA size battery, but you can see here it's uh, not a huge little light there. AAAs are inside this, two AAAs. So um, there you go, and then actually, heck, while I've got this out here, uh, here it is against the EGTAC D25A through night neutron. Um, some of my favorite everyday carry flashlights. So um, th 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 there you go. I got those guys all done. We're all set for size comparison. Next thing, a little note about the Freelux folks here. Um, th th this is a very small company. They are based in the Chicago land area here in the U.S. of the A. Um, and this, I believe, is their first sort of mi big mainstream flashlight. It's a uh, it's an interesting piece and kind of a little bit, it's got a bit of an outsider art feeling to it, which I like a lot. So um, th 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 that's excellent. So anyways, let's go ahead and talk about the good, the great, the badly ugly of this very interesting little light right here. So on the good side to start with, um, as you can probably hear right now, this button is clicky as heck. It's a very clicky little button, and it's actually a nice button because you've got a fair amount of travel, so I can use this to change the intensity and pretty reliably do so without uh, having to fully re-click it. But when you click it on and off, it's got a very positive, it, it's just, it's nice in that domain. Next thing, beam padded on this is pretty solid. I'll see if I can show this off. So you've got a little area in the middle here of a uh, pretty heavy spot. And then on the outside here, you get a fair amount of flood around it. Um, I think it's a very nice kind of beam pattern for everyday life. Um, and it works pretty well. It's a little spotty, actually, a little surprisingly so. Um, but you know what? I, I, I like it. It works fine for everyday life, and that's a beautiful thing. Next thing, you do have the option for a high CRI emitter. Um, this, I believe, is a, a Cree XPL emitter. But uh, you can also get a high CRI version, uh, which is... Uh, has a little bit lower output in terms of lumens, but the lumens are going to look a lot better, and that can be a nice option. Next thing, you have the option here to go with a clip, as you've seen here, or you can do a keychain loop that just kind of hangs off to the side there for about 10 bucks less. That's, uh, actually, it's nice that you've got that option and that you're able to avoid the clip if you don't want a clip. Although, honestly, I think this is such a clippy light that I, I, I would struggle to have this without the clip. I think that that's really the best approach. So, but still, um, that, that, that's fine. Price on this guy. Um, so the price on this guy is a little bit on the highest side. It's 135 bucks for a flashlight. That's a lot of money. Thing is, it's made in the USA. That's nice. Um, and you know what? Honestly, it's substantially well done. It, it, there's nothing I'm looking at this like machining wise is like, you guys screwed this up. No, it's a, it's a special tool, but you know what? It's a good tool. I, I, I have to say, that's a beautiful thing. Um, and the, the other thing is, it's well done overall. Like, the machining and whatnot on it is just nice. I'm going to go ahead and disassemble it. And actually, that brings us to another nice thing uh, about this guy, is that the disassembly on it is very easy. You don't need any kind of tools or anything. All you need to do is just twist this back part here. After a moment, this pops off. The clip comes off. And then, to get to the batteries... Literally, you just pop this open. Then you've got two batteries in here, and case closed, problem solved. And then the light is more or less fully disassembled. You can also pop this bit off here as well. Um, but nevertheless, that's nice. Um, they have done a very nice job of making this uh, a friendly disassembly. I'll slide this through in the middle there. And, uh, you know, I, I like that very much. But um, one of the big things about it is you get some nice little details in here. So, for instance, um, you get uh, polarity indicators down here. That's a, uh, that's a minus. This is a plus up there. So I can see exactly which one I'm taking. You might think for a second, but, Nick, the cap is symmetrical. How do you know which way it goes on? Well, the thing is there's this surface up here and then a wider surface on the other side. So you do actually know exactly which one is which. And so as I'm putting this back together, I can look at this and I can go, okay, hold on. So then this guy is negative, and then this guy here is positive, and that's nice. Um, one other thing I gotta say is that there's not really battery rattle once this is put in place, but it's not like overly tight or anything like that. It's 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 really well done, um, which is good. It's also really well jimped and whatnot. You can see there's a lot of texturing all over this little guy, which is nice, but the other big thing is there's a whole bunch of, ah, sorry, I'm not very good at gesturing to it while trying to simultaneously reassemble it. 
uh, which I wanted on this side, I think. Um, do I? Yeah, I do. Um, but there's not a whole lot of, uh, I'm sorry, there's a whole bunch of texturing. And you know what? It's very well chamfered. Like, all of the various corners are nicely chamfered on here, um, which is really good. Uh, it makes this very nice in the hand, just as a held object. Um, there aren't many art spots with it. It's, it's, and the clip is done well. It's positioned down in here. And then ergonomically speaking, it actually works pretty well, too. So I gotta say, I'm digging the, the, the overall approach. The machining here is just, is nicely done. Next thing, in terms of the output here. It's got pretty reasonable settings. The uh, high on this guy is 188 lumens, which is helps if I actually have this properly oriented in the hand, uh, which is going to be enough to very easily navigate a dock indoor room, and you can get an hour of runtime on the uh, high setting. Medium is 37 lumens, which, again, will help you just fine in a dark room. It's a little creepier, but it works. But you get eight full hours of runtime on medium. And then on low, it's two lumens. And that gets to be a little horror movie-ish in, in a dark room at night. But um, it runs for 40 hours that way, so it uh, can be a very long horror movie. So I, th those settings are very reasonable. I think they've, they've done a good job of picking out good light settings for this. And honestly, those are some high-quality runtimes right there. 40 hours on low out of two uh, AAA batteries here, which are both, by the way, I, I don't think I mentioned that, but that, 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 that you can get a whole bunch of power out of that. And actually, that does bring me to the next point, which is that the, 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 this is just using off-the-shelf AAA batteries. I mean, these were uh, a pair of Eneloop batteries, the rechargeables, but you can just throw any AAA battery you would like in there, and it works just fine. This is just your good old-fashioned vanilla AAA. Um, and that's that's just that, that is good. That's just real good. I like that a lot. I put that back together backwards, but nevertheless, I, I think that it's nice to see an off-the-shelf sort of battery there. I tend to like a USB recharge light, just because USB recharges are a constant fixture in my life, but at the same time, if you're just going to do that, having a an off-the-shelf battery type is great, um, and especially with rechargeable cells being so good, that's it's, it's a beautiful thing. So to me, that's what's good here, is that it's taking standard AAA batteries, which is nice. Uh, it's got some very high-quality run times. It's got very reasonable settings with a good light output for them. Um, it's got a lot of nice touches. The price is high, certainly, but it's justified. It's made in the U.S., and it's really nicely made in the U.S. Um, it is uh, got a nice option for a clip or a keychain loop as well as different a uh, couple of different clip options, clip color options, that is. It's got a high CRI option, nice bean pattern, and a clicky button. To me, what's great about this guy is actually the form factor. Um, the, the, the reason I say that it's great is that you've got kind of two things here. Very often, for me at least, with flashlights, the biggest issue is girth for me. I mean, I I really, if you're carrying something in your pocket, having something even as thick as a, a single AA light as this guy is, um, can be a little awkward. And then when you get up to here, it gets more awkward. When you get up to here, the pocket is kind of off the radar and then then you carry this guy that and that that's a whole other affair right there so um oh wrong light um this is actually a very nice little size here i i think it works quite well i mean it's really kind of designed i feel like whether consciously or otherwise for that key pocket the fifth pocket you find on a lot of pants so it just slides right in there no problem and the pocket clip is well oriented this little bit of knob at the top here gives you a very very nice way to grip um it's just it's good it's 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 very nicely done and the the fact that they were able to get you that extra capacity without going either to a pen light form factor, which is very long, or a much thicker factor, just works great. And then it, it uh, stands up in three different orientations, uh, including a tail stand, which is nice, and you can control it while it is tail standed, which is tail stood whatever it is. And then the ergos are actually surprisingly good. I can carry this guy, and you just carry it like this. And your, your index finger goes pretty naturally on the controls fingers lock around it. It's it's a pretty solid thing. And you can, by the way, also, I mean, you put it on like a strap or something like that. Makes a nice headlamp if you're weird. I, I you know, look, well, actually, the strap would be a little strange for a headlamp. You'd need like a little... Uh, actually, I can clip this to the side of my Batman mask. Uh, you... you yeah, you can clip it to the side of your Batman mask there. That's uh, right there. They may have just sold that. <laughs> Anyways... I digress. Um, so, yeah, that's a beautiful thing very much. <laughs> so, um, to me, the, the, the form factor on this guy is both the most unique thing about it, although there have been other than the lights that have kind of looked like this, the spy and whatnot. Um, but the, the form factor is just really nice. Um, it does, uh, for a whole bunch of reasons, mostly because it clips to your Batman mask, which is a, a common concern among most Americans these days. How will it work with my Batman mask? Um, okay, 
back at the ranch. Um, so <laughs> on the bad side here, uh, the, the, the start with the color on this version isn't amazing. It's fine. It's okay, but it's not great. Um, but they offer a Nietzsche a uh, high Cree bulb. So, okay, whatever. Um, next thing, this is never a bright light. What I mean by that is that it, it it's fine. The, the, the light works, but compared to some of the other things in my, uh, my inventory for everyday carry, like this light gets freaking bright. DAC D25A. This guy, even at its brightest setting, is it'll do. It'll put some loom, it'll put some lumens down on the floor for you. Um, they are definitely trading runtime for uh, brightness here. Um, and the thing is, it, it'll do outdoors all right. I, you know, I've used it outdoors. It's it's fine, and it's definitely enough for any indoor task. But it does lack some of the wow factor that you get from some of these small pocket rockety sorts of things. Certainly, I, I I'll give you the turbo modes. They do fade, etc. Quite literally. Um, but you know, it's trading the impressive output for impressive runtime but there's still a part of me that sure hopes that future uh, mitted technology allows this guy to be a little brighter uh, in the future down the road there. And then finally, on the bad side, um, the availability of this light is actually pretty poor. Um, in many ways, this is right now the best light money can't buy. Um, I, I just mean in that, they, that looking at his website, they're completely sold out. He has reference to, oh, well, you know, you, there, there were some pre-orders available, but then that's a link to a Facebook, closed Facebook group. Like, no, nah, that's not... No, just, just no. And so unfortunately, I get that it's a small company and he's probably making more of these furiously as we speak, but that availability is definitely an issue. So to me, that's what's bad here is it's never quite bright. Um, it, The availability isn't great and the uh, color off of this lens is not great, but you can get the Nietzsche or so whatever. Ugly front... Honestly, there's nothing too ugly. Um, that it, 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 it is what it is. So, um, final conclusion. This is actually a, a very nice light. I mean, I, I think it's compact. It, well, I, I don't just think it's compact. It's freaking compact. I mean, seriously, compact. Um, but it is also clicky. It's clippy. Goes well with a Batman mask. Um, it has a very nice uh, output for most indoor tasks here. Um, very nice run times. It takes standard batteries and nice disassembly and frankly a neat form factor. It's a little bit outside the norm and fits well into a pocket, especially that fifth pocket there. It's also a fair amount dimmer than a lot of the lights on the market these days. Um, not like in a huge sense, like it, it is sufficient, I think, for most outdoor, or I'm sorry, most indoor tasks and some outdoor tasks as well. Um, but, you know, and you're also going to struggle to buy one because right now I, I couldn't even if I wanted to, and that's that's just not ideal. I'm going to try and hold the review until more of them are available, but, uh, you know, we'll, we'll see after a while that gets old. Um, but, you know, I, I think it's mostly just good, and honestly, I feel like this is a light I would like even more if I I used it more. Um, this has the feeling of kind of good tool to it. What I mean by that is that this, I, I imagine that this light would become boring after a while. You throw it in your pocket, you turn it on, it puts out enough light for a long enough time that it's never going to blow you away, but it's absolutely going to be fine. And it'll give you plenty of runtime. It'll work well. And it carries nicely enough. I, it's a, a good tool. It works, but it's not too flashy. I'll, well, okay, it's a flashlight. It's flashy, but you know what I mean here. Um, and so I think if I gave this six months or a year, I would probably come to appreciate it even more, frankly, especially if I use the flashlight all the damn time. Um, but as it stands, I still think it's a very nice light. It's probably very, very good. And more importantly, I think it's going to improve because this is like the first effort by this guy. Um, I, I think the Synergy 2 is probably going to be even better. And over time, I think this model will improve. Both his emitted technology improves, as the machining, although again, the machining is good to go here. Um, so uh, the, the fact that this guy first time out of the gate did something this crazy and that works this well means that whatever he's up to next, is probably going to be really impressive. So I'm definitely going to keep an eye on the Freylux people here and I um, think you should as well. And if you can get one, then hey, by all means, give it a shot. So anyways, there you go. Hope this has been interesting to you, that this lit up your life and that you've now found something perfect to accompany your Batman mask and have yourselves just an absolutely wonderful rest of your day. Bye now.